exactly on that. No, I would, have, I would have bought that narrative till last night when the two candidates were Digvijay Singh and Shashi Tharoor. And I don't think, to be fair to the family, I don't think they have a, a, a bone in this fight or a dog in this fight, as it were, uh, between Digvijay Singh and right. Shashi Tharoor. But once Mr. Kharge's candidature got uh, announced this morning as a last-minute twist, I think it's very apparent who the family is backing. I think the problem with the media is media wants election, which Congress party does, not for the media, but for its internal <laughs> democratic system. But the problem with the media is the second. You they know, Mr. Agarwal, you but can Agarwal, you can cry Agarwal, till the cows second. come home about Agarwal, the problem with the media. Agarwal, if I start me. if I start talking about the Agarwal, problems with the Congress party, Mr. Agarwal, Agarwal, very humbly, very respectfully, you're a, Agarwal, you represent so a political party. Few, I, have, I have no qualms. Agarwal. I have no qualms. Sir, sir, one second, one second. Agarwal, Agarwal, just give me, it is so I will give you time to respond. Give me 10 seconds. You do know, you do know that I'm one of the most fair anchors on television. Just give me 10 Let seconds. Me my point. I, have, I have no problems the way you want to run your party. All, all up to you. You want to run it the way you want to run it? Please run it. But in the interests of the health of India's democracy, it is important that we have a strong Congress party. And unfortunately, the Congress party had an opportunity with this election by choosing Mr. Kharge and whether you like it or not, the message has gone down to the rank and file that Mr. Kharge is the chosen one. I think you've squandered that opportunity. That's my limited I mean, point. You are, so you are free to disagree. Like I said, it's your party. You can run it the way right. you want. So at least I, I think Zaka is going to be democratic enough to yes. give me at least 30 yes, seconds to absolutely. make that Please. point and not interject. Sure, sure, sure. You see, the, the thing with the media is they look for elections in the Congress, which we do not to show the media, but because we are a democratic party. But the other problem with the media is media wants internal election, but also wants to judge themselves whom they want to be the Congress president. You see, this is very a funny situation. Shashi Tharuji is fighting and Mr. Khadge is fighting. It's for the 9,000 delegates now to decide okay. who's going to be the president. I, okay. have, I, will be, I will really congratulate media the day they put this spotlight on BJP internal elections and actually ask BJP, why I'm, does Bangaru I'm, I'm asking, I'm asking, asking now. Rakhari I'm asking to Guru Prakash Paswan right now. Had elections, Mr. Ever. J.P. Nadda, your Amazing party Saka, president. Well, one second, let, let, let me ask him. You, you want me to ask this question? I'm asking him right now. In fact, I've asked every BJP spokesperson and, and, and uh, over the last week. Mr. J.P. Nadda is going to get his second term. You have to ask him one more he question. has not been elected either, uh, either in the first term or in the likely second term. So what are you, the BJP, talking about internal party elections, uh, Guru Prakash Paswan? Zaka, I'm going to answer this question and I'm not going to give certificates to you that whether there is a problem with the media, whether Zaka is an impartial anchor, I'm not going to make any comment on that. But Zaka, we must understand a couple of things beforehand. The AMI Digital tweeted yesterday and Mr. Digvijay Singh, former Chief Minister of Madhya Pradesh, a senior leader of the Congress Party, he has gone on record and said, whoever becomes Congress President, will work under Gandhi family. This is something what Mr. Digvijay Singh, a seasoned Congress leader, someone who was himself interested in becoming the president of the Congress party, has gone on record and said, so this is the state of affairs in the Congress party. As far as election in Mr. our party is concerned. I did not, uh, Zaka, I did not interfere. Yeah, yeah. oh, one second, Mr. Agarwal, please let, let him finish. Yeah. Uh, Zagat, this is the respect for democracy and respect for debate what the Congress party says. But yeah, having said that, one more thing. Zaka, if you look at the party president since 1980, 1980, the Jansang becomes the Bharti Janta Party. Since 1980 to 2022, look at the list of the presidents of the Bharti Janta Party. Since 1980 to 2022, look at the presidents of the Indian National Congress. Only two people outside the family, Sitaram Kesi and Sitaram... I did not, sir. Zaka, if you have to do this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Zaka, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mudiji, to... Mudiji, just, just give him two minutes. Yeah. Uh, but but uh, Guru, my question was the election the election of your party president. Zaka, yeah, go on. Zaka, hmm. Zaka I, I, I can shout over him. but No, no, don't, don't, don't. Yeah, of, go ahead. Hmm. That, that, is, that is not the sanskar of my political party. Thank you so much. Zaka, since right, 1980, right. No. since 1980, since 1980 to 2022, how many president in the Congress party outside the family? Only two. Sitaram Kesri was insulted. The entire country remembers how Sitaram Kesri, a backward community leader, was insulted in the office of the Congress party. Sitaram Kesri is Bihar and he was insulted. Since 1980, only two people outside the family and you are lecturing on democracy. And even today, someone like Digvijay Singh 
has gone on record and said that whoever becomes a Congress president will work under Gandhi. Okay, Gandhi. let me let this me get the experts in. Let me get this Shipra as well as uh, a couple Madan into the conversation. Shipra. Uh, you know, if Mr. Kharge were to get elected, and there's a very great chance that he will because he is now the official candidate. Uh, Mr. Tharoor is seen as the quote-unquote rebel candidate. Uh, the fact is, an 80-year-old Mr. Kharge would have been taking over the reins of this party from a 50-year-old Rahul Gandhi who was the last full-time president that the Congress party had. Now, surely, if this is a generational change, this is a generational change in the reverse. An 80-year-old is taking over from a 50-year-old. I mean, how is that supposed to work? Absolutely. So, there are two clear uh, things which uh, we need to, you know, really address to. That first, you know, Congress party uh, under the uh, leadership of Rahul Gandhi, they had promised that internal democracy uh, they are really worried about. And second thing, that new blood and young youth will be in the forefront. So, I think both these promises, uh, I think... Uh, 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 the coming of uh, 80 year old Kharge Saab, though he has immense experience and he comes uh, uh, as a very astute politician, uh, you know, with 50 years of uh, his political career. But the fact is, you know, as Tharoor stands, uh, you know, as, as a rebel candidate or as uh, uh, another contesting candidate. Um, so uh, uh, I think the entire, entire focus or the spotlight should have been, you know, within the uh, Congress party or the G23 members also should have been on onto the Thurur. Uh, but on the other side, we are see, we are seeing that the entire uh, uh, the, 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 the media is saying that the blessings of uh, Sonia Gandhi or blessings of the Gandhi family is uh, with Mr. Kharge. So you know both two uh, on uh, both the fronts. I think uh, uh, the young members of the Congress party would feel cheated. And second thing, you know, coming back to Rajasthan uh, politics also, okay. uh, the one of the biggest promises again uh, was to uh, give the leadership to uh, the, the, the leader or, or pilot who had actually uh, led from the front and who was uh, considered to be the leader mm -hmm. uh, you know of the future uh, but you know with, with the coming of gehlot in the fray and he's also he was also trying to retain both the positions you know he was yeah. also trying to keep uh, the position of cm and he was also a wine for uh, you know the uh, for the president post also so you know this whole situation and this whole scenario uh, brings me to uh, uh, one very interesting uh, episode i would just narrate you know that in the past also in rajasthan politics mm. when sukhadia sukhadia was 17 uh, the longest serving chief minister of rajasthan 17 years he served you now i'm just giving you a glimpse how party has been operating and uh, this is nothing new uh, what whatever i've heard from other speakers also okay. uh, that the reign uh, would be with the with the gandhi family and how that when uh, 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 sukhadia was the uh, chief minister of rajasthan and he uh, and indira gandhi uh, and the, there was faction in, in, uh, at the center you know at the central politics uh, uh, in the congress party that one faction wanted some other candidate to be the on the uh, to be contesting for the presidential position and indira gandhi had decided on to other and the people who had voted uh, against Indira's bill because she had said that Antaratma ki awas para vote di jega. Though, uh, the, the other person was the official candidate and Indira Gandhi had launched another candidate, uh, Bibi Giri. So the people or the political people who had voted in Rajasthan, I'm, I'm, I'm talking about the con in the context of Rajasthan, the people who had voted, uh, voted against the bill of Indira Gandhi, they were removed from the post and, and the people who had supported her, you know, beyond, beyond the internal democracy, what the official candidate was uh, another person and Indira Gandhi's okay, uh, okay. candidate was another person. So, you know, and that's how after 17 years of very, uh, um, uh, you know, good Shikha. tenure of, as chief minister, Sukhadiya was removed and 105 MLAs had gone to Indira Gandhi to say that, you know, there will be darkness, spell of darkness in Rajasthan if he's removed as chief minister. And she had categorically said that, you know, <clears throat> after darkness, there is light. So I'll decide. Uh, okay. Uh, let me ask a couple, so, couple Madan. To... Let me ask couple <laughs> Madan. You, you know, one of the other problems is, and I don't think, I mean, I, I don't think problem is the right word, but one of the issues that the Congress Party has 